everyone, and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, back at it again with another match reaction, guys. And of course, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share, because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. And also press that notification bell, so you can be the first person to see the video as soon as it comes up. Anything new, you'll be the first, and you really want to be the first. And if you want to contribute to the channel, click on the link in the description, contribute via PayPal as well it'll join us on the live chat and also if you want to join bet us the leading us company in the united states for betting scan that qr code deposit 100 dollars, and you get 125 percent cash i mean sign up bonus but let's get straight into it because it is manchester united 2 tottenham cock spurs nil manchester united grabbing all the three points today yes after a fabulous performance in the second half manchester united done the deeds today you know it was so good the win that we needed we needed that after that disappointing result against newcastle but what what was good about this it was the performance the togetherness you know it was to me slightly a complete performance an, an eric ten hog style performance you know and we're starting to see a little bit of that that ix mode that ix style in manchester united overall the first half guys oof, where tottenham themselves was sitting back for a long time, soaking up pressure, soaking up so much. If you was to give them a towel, the amount of pressure they soaked up, that towel would be so damn wet. I'm telling you now, bruv. Manchester United kept him in the back, just sitting back for the whole whole first half. And Spurs were doing what Spurs will do. A Spursy performance. Sit back, soak the pressure up, trying to get us on a counter-attack. But it didn't happen. In the second half, Manchester United made sure that Tottenham Cock Spurs was trapped in the closet, closet, closet. You know, you get me? They couldn't even get out. They was all out here singing part one, part two, part three of that guy's song of trapped in the closet, you know? They couldn't even be singing, I'm coming up. I want the world to know that I want to win some trophies, but I won't. That Spurs right there, that second half match United scoring that first goal past the Fred. On a Wednesday night, delivering the Bible study st sermons, you know, because only Bible studies really happen on a midweek, on a on a Wednesday night, a, a, a night visual as well. On a under the floodlights, Pastor Fred scoring that goal, a good a good goal as well with a deflection. Sancho laying it off for Fred for Fred to just slot it in. Luckily, it deflected off of Romero, I believe, and went straight into the back of the, uh, of the goal of Hugo Lloris's goal. Again, Manchester United again doing so well, pressing, having opportunities. Although Rashford himself missed that first chance in the first half, which I was so annoyed, so upset with Mark Rush. Rashford can't finish for shit. Rashford can't finish for shit. Actually, also hitting the post in the first half. But then again, Bruno Fernandes with a good finish. Pastor Fred getting himself involved in that goal again. Trying to find a way, deflecting it off of uh, Spurs defender, laying it in a path for Bruno, for Bruno to just coolly finish it. And Bruno had a horrible game again. He gave the man, he got the man in the match, but I'm questioning how, 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 how. But again, the media was behind him, you know. Bruno with that second goal, making Manchester United win two goals to no against Tottenham. Although he scored a third goal, but it was ruled outside. It is what it is. I'm just happy that we got the three points. And the three points is what Manchester United need right now. In terms of players as well, before even we get into that, Cristiano Ronaldo himself walk into the tunnel. Do you know what, Ronaldo? If you want to leave this club, leave. Unless Ronaldo had a permission to leave towards the 90th minute because he doesn't want to see his team enjoy football. Like, you don't want to join the parade, you don't want to party with us, No. You don't want to vise with us, you know? You get me? Ronaldo out here doing his thing. This just shows me that. Luckily, we've won. But if we didn't win, it would be in the back paper, back pages of the newspapers. Not a good light. Not a good limelight. And guys, if you want to know, Eric Ten Hag did not allow him to leave that early. Not good. It's just not good. I'm not impressed with that, guys. But in terms of the performance, I was happy. Manchester United getting that three points is what we need, you know, for a midweek re remedy, a midweek antidote, you know. Drink it in, guys, and soak it in because we got we go again this weekend. Player-wise, we look at Bruno Fernandes again, guys. 
For me, it's mixed feelings. I thought Bruno Fernandes was trash. Trash today. But he got the goal. And he needs the goal to set up the campaign, you know, get himself running. Marcus Rashford today was poor. Although he got so many chances. And Hugo Boss, a.k.a. Hugo Lloris, stopped him from, 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 from scoring so many times. But Rashford himself had the opportunity. And he was poor with his finishing. Jaden Sancho assisted with the goal for Fred. Although it took a deflection, it's still an assist. It's just, it should count as an assist for Jaden Sancho. But Manchester United themselves did well. Anthony was just vibes in the first half. Going past players. Going past the Spurs defenders easily. And I was enjoying it. The skills, the trickeries as well. As well, sometimes it was repet repetitive. I don't care. Anthony had a good game. Fred, amazing game today. You know, he was influential. Got himself stuck in. The pressing from Fred was just relentless. And Casemiro. Oh, I'm so happy we got real defensive midfielder. Oh, we've been crying for the proper world-class defensive midfielder. And Casemiro had a man in a match performance. A standing ovation for Casemiro. My God. Man in a match today, guys, has to go to Casemiro. Because Casemiro was vital. The media team... From Prime Videos gave Bruno Fernandes the man of the match. But to me, Casemiro was the man. Blocking, involved, passing, interceptions, tackles. What we've been missing out for a very, very long time. It's just beautiful to see. Don't care if the match has to go to that Marcus Rashford, you know. Poor performance. Just cannot finish and save his life, bro. Just pretend you're, you're feeding the kids. And you score some goals. Just pretend there's a hungry kid in that goal that hasn't been fed, hasn't had any free school meals, any school meals at all, and that he needs the ball in the back of the net in order for him to eat Mark Rashford. And that will happen, and Mark Rashford will score. But apart from that, I'm happy with the result, guys. I'm just happy. It's been a brilliant night for us. Manchester United, we continue with fifth after so many shots. Do you mind of the attempts Manchester United had against... Tottenham, Coxpurs, Ooh, so many, about 30 attempts today, you know, kill them today, so I'm happy with that, Manchester United fans, enjoy it, drink it in, we go again this weekend, as always guys, remember, another watch along this weekend, Manchester United play, but as always, let me know what your man of the match was, your donkey of the match, your thoughts on the game, as this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivorian Spice, Till next time, guys, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united because your boy is out.